Adelina. So Mombasa without Crips ya mwogo Yeah, this uh, cassava chips It's not Mombasa, we have to get some I have my bag here Today I'm not carrying a backpack Have you ever tried that? the moonlight I know we are excited by different things whatever excites you might not excite me but you can never be a serious traveler if you can leave your city your village your country you visit Mombasa I'm afraid to visit Mamangina waterfront At this point, you can just sit, relax, switch off your mind if it's possible. Then, watch these boat trails. If today I was to make a wish, then the wish definitely would be to grow faith rich. I don't wish to go down there visiting the Titanic, just like the other rich guys. But I won't mind owning a yacht and touring the world using my arch. For Watuabara, you know, Mombasa people are so fond of calling us Watuabara, yeah, people from the countryside. Now, not everyone has ever had the chance to view this beautiful guy approaching there, Adelina. Yeah, she's one of the biggest container ships we have in the world. That I wish some opportunities were being given to some people in landlocked countries like Uganda. People would be busy chanting Adelina, Adelina. But now Kenyans are not seeing the uniqueness in this. They're not seeing um, the benefit of having a notion, having a number on a seashore. Adelina. For a minute, when I forget about the ship, let's talk about the tree in front of me. Have you ever heard of Boabab tree? Now the tree producing Mabuyu. I thought you should know.
How many containers do you think the ship is carrying? Leave a comment there. Don't get it twisted whenever you see myself walk freely along the waterfront. During weekends, this place is so packed up. So you can really have your own private time. You can really have your time to do your shit. Someone will always be approaching you, selling you something, or consulting you about something. This is the kind of places someone will leave their work, their house, their everything to come and just come here, enjoying the cool breeze from the ocean. This pill box measures 4 by 6 meters and was used as a bunker for light machine gun. It was built underground and is connected to the adjacent pool bunker at the cliff by a tunnel. What does that mean? Was this a war zone? As a content creator, you'll always be excited whenever your subscribers We'll be watching and telling you, oh, next time we want to hear more about the birds. Film the birds, want to see them, want to hear their voices. We love natural voices, yeah? Now that's what we like. Leave a comment there. What you do like to hear from me?
upgrade again a six inch gun emplacement with the observation tower and ammunition stores this clearly shows you that this was a war zone especially during the colonial period it must be the place whereby you could see the enemies as they approach for information the facility is highly guarded by armed police officers and it's not that far from the state launch now those are the kind of voices you like i know leave a like and a comment then finally don't forget to subscribe goodbye